girls, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be all about eating all around central London and my oh my, do we have a feast ready, lined up, ready for you. So we've got some bubble tea, some dim sum, oh yeah, some brisket rice and also a seafood feast with my friend Bonnie. But before we get into all of that, I wanted to talk about my everyday jewellery pieces. Now I get asked this quite a lot and this section of the vlog is actually sponsored by Ana Luisa and they are a sustainable jewellery brand that focuses on creating affordable luxury pieces. The brand itself offsets 100% of the carbon emissions related to the product's life cycle and they also ensure fair pricing so all of the pieces start from $39 and upward to the more high-end pieces so depending on what style you like there's something for everyone and I also went ham and just kind of picked out three different pieces I absolutely love and haven't been able to stop wearing and it says a lot because I really rarely kind of deviate from my everyday jewellery and these pieces have overtaken some of my favourite pieces as well and they're just so easy to wear and they really go with everything and I especially love layering up necklaces because it helps to dress up a very very basic item like this cardigan it just suddenly makes it look so much more edgier and it just makes me feel so much cooler <laughs> so the pieces that I have picked are the carry refertible necklace and this is an astro coin and I particularly love it because there's two sides to it and it represents the sun and the moon and the versatility of this is great as well because it essentially means I've got two necklaces is in one and I can't wait to wear this with like a white or cream or black satin shirt or maybe like a satin fest top some summer dresses and behind this I've also got a layered necklace set by Michelle Choi who's another creator here on YouTube and she created the Michelle set and this one I love because there's actually three different necklaces so you can all wear individually or you can all bundle together like I have as one big set so for me I really loved how all of the pieces look and the chains themselves actually adjust so I've actually made this one super short so it's more of a choker and the last piece are these Riviera Moonstone Huggies and I've actually got three low piercings and I've got this in my main one and to be honest I've not really wanted to layer many earrings because I just love the little peak of it coming out from my hair so if you're interested in buying a few pieces for yourself or to treat a loved one to some new jewellery then I've actually got a code for 10% off so if you use Tayshaw Shoe 10 which I'll put on the screen here in editing magic, then you can get yourself 10% off Anna Louise's website. After all of that talking, I'm now ready for some food. First food spot of the day, dim sum. You know it. Let's go get ourselves some dumplings. Actually, before we get into the dumplings, let's rewind back to the night before where Bonnie and I enjoyed belated birthday celebrations at Oystermen, a seafood restaurant based in Covent Garden. It was a hot and balmy evening, so we enjoyed outdoor seating and ordered ourselves a feast. We uh, would like the braised octopus, mm -hmm. the seafood platter, the Old Bay chips. Oh, and a bottle of rosé. <laughs> First up, we order the braised octopus with duck fat potato, black olive, sun-dried tomato and vinaigrette. This was the perfect starter, big enough to share between two and a great introduction to the seafood platter for two that soon followed. Now this is what we came here for. If you're a seafood lover, this is a must order. There's a whole Dorset crab, six Morden oysters, Dorset clams, Cornish mussels and prawns. There was just a lot more filling than we expected and it was beautifully washed down with wine and a great platter to enjoy over good conversation and the sun setting over Covent Garden. Bonnie! Hello everyone! Okay. Beautiful she is! <laughs> I just like get this ready, like flip it a little bit. Oh, it's already off. Okay. Mmm. Fresh. Really good. So, Bonnie and I have now finished our feast and we are so full. So we had that whole seafood platter and we're just out here sitting our fresco, enjoying our last bottle of rosé wine smelling this candle which smells freaking amazing it smells like the sea air i think now we're gonna go back to mine and rest for a bit so we burn off this seafood yeah, we platter we're in seafood coma <laughs> yeah we've eaten so much we thought we would be okay but we are quite full and then we might head back out for drinks later well we ended up getting a mcflurry and enjoying that with a rhubarb tea in bed instead Party animals, I know. So Bonnie and I are about to tuck into these cookies that Ellie had made for us, homemade matcha with white chocolate chips. And look at how cute they are. And so we've got some gemaicha in honor of her. Yay! So on the biscuit trade, my beautiful friend Maymay had these biscuits made from the Biscuiteers to celebrate 50,000 subscribers, housewarming and my birthday, which is so kind and sweet of her. And we've got a champagne one, a little birthday cake, champagne for congratulations, 
and confetti. And he's so cute. They're too cute to eat, so I'm just gonna film them and look at them instead for now. Here with Bonnie. Hello, Hello everyone. You. And what are we doing today? We're going to Chinatown for some dim sum because we're very hungry. Yeah, to be fair, I've just been like, faffing around. I know, so we spent like four hours just chilling, chatting, eating, eating, and now we're hungry again. So, <laughs> dim sum in it. Also, yeah, we were eating Ellie's cookies and they were so good. Oh my god, so, so, so good. So good. So, we definitely want another batch, Ellie. <laughs> Please. <laughs> We're ordering dim sum, so back at Golden Phoenix, which was my usual. One has not been in a while. So we're getting a bunch. If you've watched my videos before, then you'll be familiar with this place already and my love for dim sum. We ordered a mix of our favourite dishes and devoured the lot. There's nothing quite like Sunday dim sum. <laughs> How was your dim sum? Oh my god, so full, yeah. but very satisfying. Yeah, I don't know what's happened to us, that we've literally eaten... We couldn't finish everything. Oh my god, shocker. Yeah. Oh my god, can we say this? Can we say this? <laughs> what? Is this going to ruin your reputation? No. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes we can eat less. We're aimlessly walking around Soho, and yeah. it feels like we're on holiday. It's just the weather's so beautiful. Everyone's yeah. out having, I don't know, their lunch or something. It's so nice. It's so nice. And it's all sunny. Yeah. Chill. It's like a true London, like, summer atmosphere, I think. Yeah. 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 It's nice. The last week of summer, I think. For yeah. The UK. We're loving it. We're loving it. One of my favourite things to do is to wander aimlessly around the city. But on this day, our feet took us to our next stop, Bun House in Lyle Street, Chinatown, for a post-lunch snack. In the next part of our London food tour, we are now at Bun House in Chinatown. You've been here before. One of my favourite places to come for a snack, mm -hmm. definitely. Oh, our pages has gone ah, for the food. Food, food for the I'll come back in a minute. Bonnie, you can keep the entertained. Oh my god, please do. How do I pause this? <laughs> <laughs> what button? Okay, I'm just going to keep this playing. Or can show you what how to do this oh. well I just tried to like distract myself and um, film something useful but it didn't really work <laughs> okay so this is the signature combo chu hao beef brisket rice I'm gonna try and like learn what you do yeah but it's wait how's your focus oh yeah there it is Oh. Hey, hey, hey. Mm -hmm. I don't even know this song. Hey, hey, hey. Mate, I'm sure it is. Hey, hey, hey. I can't sing a Oh, I hope it's not Lao Sao Bao. I think it is. It is. It is. I, I told you it is. Oh, God. <laughs> wow, this is a custard bun. Okay, so we've got Lao Sao Bao custard buns. Runny, and it's like a buttery salted egg yolk filling. Is it really hot? Yeah. Good, isn't it? That's good. On the top of each bowl, it says which what the ingredient is. So for this one, it's got dan because there's obviously egg. But then for like chicken, they'll put gay, which is for chicken. So if you can read Chinese, then it's easy to differentiate between which one you don't. If you don't have to read Chinese, then hopefully someone will know yeah. Chinese, but you're just going to have to try them all and see which one you like. Mm -hmm. So good. Fatu. Juicy. And tender. And tender. And the rice soaks up all the juice, all the sauce, so it's so flavorful, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And considering we've had a massive dim sum lunch, I'm still eating this. It means it's good enough for you too. We are now in the queue for The Alley in London, which is a global bubble tea brand, which I've never been to before. Bunny's been there before. Yeah, I've only been once though. Yeah, did you like it there? I'm going to put a mask on. Yeah, I liked it. Yeah, and there's a secret menu, so I'm going to try the lychee mango green tea, that's it, from the secret menu. And Bonnie's going to try the mango lulu with coconut milk. 
Yeah, I'm excited. It looks so nice inside. Yeah. We're literally really having nice. a proper Asian food tour day out. Yeah, it's good. And like inside is socially proper just like properly socially distant. Hand sanitizers are out. Exactly. Yeah, okay. it looks good. Yeah. Oh my god, there's a purple rice yogurt. yogurt. Oh. <gasps> Matcha purple rice yogurt. I mean, that sounds good. It's good, it's good. We got these two here. Yay! Enjoy. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Got our drinks. You, this yours is so good. Mine tastes like mango bodin. Yeah, it's so good. It's with coconut, yeah, right? Like. Yeah, coconut milk. Super good. This one is the lychee green tea, and it's so refreshing. So if you don't like bubble tea or you don't like something that's super milky and you want something re refreshing, light, fruity, this is great. And yeah. this one is like sweet and. I think it's sweet, but at the same it's time, it's not sweet. too sweet. We just like we always joke about like Asians always say like, oh, this is really sweet. <laughs> Oh no, this is really good, but like it's not too sweet. Yeah, yeah. So that means it's a good dessert for yeah. Asians. <laughs> we try something different, didn't we? Yeah. Like we don't want to go for the standard um, like Hong Kong milk tea, bubble tea. So we thought we'd try something new. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we're liking it. Yay. Okay, now we're gonna walk back and enjoy the last of this summer weather. Bye. Thanks for hanging out Bye. with me. Hello, my loves. I've just come back from the walk. Oh. And I also stopped off at an Asian supermarket and I got a bunch of treat so I thought I would show you a little mini Korean food haul. Wait, let's put it here. First thing I've got crispy seaweed because I really want to do with like goju jang which I've got here as well with some maybe like grilled fish or some tofu and then have some mixed grain rice and then wrap it with seaweed to have. So I've also got some, I can't say it in Korean, like goju jang, hot pepper paste, always a staple in my fridge have some udon. I actually really, really like these ones. The frozen ones are good as well, but this is just nice to just have as a cupboard staple. I've never tried this before, but I love ginger. So ginger tea, you basically put like two tablespoons into hot water or cold water and mix it. And I think it's great for digestion. Some kimchi, again, staple in the fridge. These, I had these in Korea before. I don't know the Korean name for it, but it's the Korean style spicy chewy noodles and it's like spicy, a little bit tangy, a little bit sweet and you have it cold. I have these, so if you've not had them before, they basically have some very, very spicy instant noodles and they've turned these into a snack. And I've seen people have it in like mukbangs and stuff, but I've never had it myself. So I might do a little taste test later on, but it's a hot chicken flavor. So I'm really intrigued by them. So. Had a little mini Korean food haul, but what an amazing weekend with Bonnie. So I've not seen her properly for like, gosh, like nearly, probably nearly a year, you know? A long time, like more than nine months. So it was so good to like properly, properly catch up. And honestly, I've laughed so much this weekend. So yeah, Bonnie, if you're watching this, I love you. That's the end of today's vlog. Who is hungry? I'm hungry just even thinking about what I've just eaten. I could just easily have that brisket rice again, all the bubble tea, all the dim sum, all the seafood platter. But thank you so much for watching. And if you did enjoy this video, please do give it a big thumbs up. And I hope you're having a wonderful morning, afternoon or evening. And I'll see you in the next video.